What's going on guys? Brock with Bassin 227 back here again with another video for you today. Um, again, there's been a little bit of gaps in between my videos, so I apologize dealing with some stuff with my grandpa, so it's kind of been busy between that and work, so do apologize. Without further ado, we're diving right into this thing, okay? Color selection, in specific to soft plastics. This is going to be a two-part video, okay? We're going to focus on soft plastics on this video. The next video, we're going to dive into color selections for crankbaits. This topic, I feel, is, is a really good one. And for me, when I was a, a younger angler and as I was just getting into fishing, I felt like I needed to have every single color that every lure company made, and I, I had to have it. It was important. You see all the pros with all these different baits. I had to be just like them. I needed to have everything. Well, what I didn't know at the time, for one, pros have a lot of those different baits because they're constantly fishing multiple different bodies of water, different water clarities, different conditions, everything like that all across the country. That's not me. Would I love it to be? Absolutely. But that's not me right now. So I keep it simple. And with, with my concept of how I keep it simple, I mainly look at black and blue and green pumpkin, okay? Those two colors alone will get you to be able to catch fish no matter what body of water you're fishing. Those two colors are key. So, and I guess I probably should have prefaced this because this probably would have been important. How I'm going to talk about my color selection and what works for me, majority of the water that I fish is dirty water. And how I've tailored my, my soft plastics is tailored toward dirty water. Now, if you're, so obviously if you're fishing clearer water, you want something more natural, watermelons, browns, things like that. Um, dirty water, a lot of times you want something with a little, little bit more vibrant, a little bit brighter, you know, something that the fish can maybe be able to see a little bit better. Um, but green pumpkin, black and blue, you're going to catch it anywhere. Okay. So when I start, I've got two color bases, right? Green pumpkin, okay, black and blue. Now, I'll start with, generally, I'll start with these two colors because these two colors are the basics, okay? If I'm not getting bit on those, the I, I let, let me back that up. I let the fish tell me what they want. If I'm getting bit really good on those, I'm, I'm just going to continue to fish those until I'm done fishing or I, I don't get bit. But if I'm not getting bit on those colors, I'll mix it up. I'll get something that's maybe got a little bit of flash that's going to stand out a little bit more. So for example, this is a ballistic bruiser. You can see it's got a nice, a lot of nice flash to it. Green pumpkin flash, kind of the same thing. So again, keeping it in that black and blue green pumpkin base, but different variants. And a lot of times that allows me to be able to effectively key in on the fish. So with this system, I'm able to let the fish tell me what they want. Now, like I said, this is my basic setup for flipping baits, for craws, if I'm going like uh, worms. There's a few other colors that I, I'll likely throw in there with some like shaky head style fishing that are maybe a little bit kind of off from the standard. But when it comes to those main uh, baits, that's, that's the system that I have. Um, another good color that I like to go to you know, if, if none of the black and blues are really getting bit as well, I'll just go with a straight black. And this color absolutely crushes it in dirty water. Um, I'll be 100% honest, I'm, I really don't know what the key is for an all black bait in dirty water, but it absolutely kills it. But, you know, green pumpkin, it's really going to mimic craws, bluegills, stuff like that. Um, your black and blues is just going to be kind of a little bit more vibrant, something that's going to stand out a little bit better in dirty water. So that's why I like to go with those. And to be honest, 
the fact that I can use these two color patterns with multiple variants to be able to fish any type of water is great. And it, it doesn't allow me to have to worry and overthink and having to dig through hundreds of different soft plastics to decide what do I want to throw. I'm prepared. I've got my setup. I know what I'm starting with and how I'm going to gradually work to the next. So when it comes to those flipping jig trailers and things like that, I'm set. Now where I kind of veer off a little bit <clears throat> is going to be like if I'm Ned bait fishing. So for example here, Ned bomb. So I look at, you know, when you think about forage and, and what the bass are eating, most of what, most ponds that I fish are mainly bluegill, but I do also fish some lakes where there's, you know, shad. Um, there's also little small like crappie in some of the ponds. So I'll go with, you know, something shad related. I don't go too translucent because the more translucent the bait, the more clear the bait, the better it's going to be for that natural water presentation. Um, so I'll go with something, you know, a little bit darker or something like this. And I think this one's the Silver Core Flash. And I absolutely love this color. This is one of my, one of my favorites out of them. But again, I'll, I'm going for a bait fish style for this. So that's that's what I'm trying to match with that. Now, I, I have had the shad pattern work in a, a pond that just didn't have shad in it. And that's kind of, that leads into another aspect of confidence baits. Now, you may have colors that may not work really all that well in most situations, but no matter what, you tie that thing on and you're confident, you know you're gonna catch fish. So if that's the case, break the rule, stock up on what you're confident in because that's how you're gonna catch fish. So for me, <clears throat> something outside of the norm for me as far as a confidence bait, and I have it in D-bombs as well, is a peanut butter and jelly. Don't know why, but I've caught a ton of fish on this color, clear, dirty, does not matter. It's a confidence bait. It's one I'm always gonna tie on, especially if I'm using some other baits and not getting any bites. I'll gravitate towards this confidence color and just because I'm more confident in it, I'll tend to catch more fish. And then, you know, I'll still go with some of these baits towards, you know, the green pumpkins. Because the green pumpkins do a really good job at mimicking a bluegill. So you got a green pumpkin flash here. And nice bluegill-esque looking bait. So... You know, obviously, I don't have a hundred different soft plastics here. I, you know, you know, when you're thinking of swim baits <clears throat> and things like that, follow the same concepts. Think about what type of water clarity you're fishing. Thinking about the forage that you're fishing, and try to focus in on your colors that are really going to tie into the type of water you're fishing and um, the forage that the bass are feeding on. Now, obviously, if you had like a chartreuse swim bait. That's not necessarily going to match any forage that they're eating on, but it's going to be a bright, vibrant color that's going to help draw attention in really stained water. So keeping that kind of basic concept is really going to help you be a lot more efficient when you're selecting baits. Like I said, you don't need to have every single bait, every single color, all that. Focus in on what type of water you're fishing. If you're fishing dirty water, obviously green pumpkin, black and blue is gonna be a really good choice. Some colors that are gonna maybe stand out more, like some June bugs, maybe black and purple, black and red, um, you know, something like that, like green pumpkin chartreuses too. I mean, keeping it as a smaller base as to what you're looking for, as far as colors go, helps the decision making process be that much easier because when you open up your tackle box or open up your bag and trying to look at all these different baits you spend more time looking at it trying to figure out okay what do i want to throw do i want to throw this do i want to throw that when you keep it simple on how you're selecting your colors when it comes time to get to the water and fish you've already got a system in place to know that hey I'm going to start with this. If this doesn't work, I'm going to this. And you've got, you know, a decent amount of baits, but still not 
a large assortment of colors. You've got a small assortment of colors with the quantity being higher of each color. So that's, that's my take on uh, color selection for soft plastics. You could really dive into this topic even more and really get more fine-tuned as far as selecting different, you know, during different times of the year and things like that. But for me, I wanted to make this video's approach towards the, the beginner fisherman because I feel like, you know, when you're thinking about colors, it can be extremely overwhelming and reaching out to say, hey, look, keep it simple. This is what works for me. I've been fishing, you know, for, for a long time. And this is the system that works well for me. And I'm confident that I can go to any body of water, dirty, clear, doesn't matter that with what I've got, I'm going to catch fish. Keep it simple. I guarantee you it's going to help you be able to spend more time catching fish than trying to figure out what color to throw. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Like I said, short, sweet, compared to some of the other videos. I know I'm trying to get the times down, but there's a lot of information I want to try to be able to get out. So... I hope you guys really liked the video. Make sure you hit the like button down below. It really helps me jump into YouTube's algorithm, start getting my videos out there so people can see a little bit more. If you're not subscribed, which most of the people watching my channel aren't, hit that subscribe button, man. I'd love to have you be a part of my community and, and helping get my channel to grow. We're going through a cold week this week. <clears throat> Likely by the end of this week, I'm going to have uh, my new laptop, so we'll be able to get the GoPro up and going. I'm uh, hoping... A little bit warmer weather is going to come back so we can get more on the water fishing videos for you because I know that's what I want to be doing rather than sitting in here because it's cold outside. So um, that's going to do it for me, guys. Stay tuned. Um, we'll have part two coming up talking about hard baits. That one might be a little bit longer because I feel like there's a little bit more in depth to that. Um, but again, Whatever's going to help you guys catch fish, I'm just relaying what works for me. Take with it what you want. All right, guys, till the next one, have a good one. Make sure you're getting out fishing. If you got kids, take your kids fishing if you haven't. There's nothing better than watching a kid catch fish. It, I could go out and not catch a fish all day, but watching my kids catch it brings me just as much joy, if not more, than me being the one to catch the fish. So, All right, guys, take care. Peace.